In the 1920s, the United States entered into an era known as Prohibition. Alcohol was outlawed. Bars were forced to operate in back alleys, underground, and exclusive secret clubs known as speakeasies. Now just a hundred years later, Battlezone Championship Wrestling has hand-selected patrons to join our exclusive speakeasy. So what do you say? Are you in? Welcome to Lights Out. He will scratch, he will thump anybody that he is working with. Very true. And ladies and gentlemen, when the bell rings, your official ref, Obama. Obama tried to get the uh, bear to move back. In the corner to my left, from Blackwater, Mississippi, he went in this morning at 315 pounds. That's a lot of man right there. And I didn't even put my thumb on a scale or nothing. That was just all him. Right. The big bear, formerly known as Shaky. McMullen. That was a long time ago. A long time ago. I do miss Shaky every day. That's like saying at one point he was a small child. Right. It was. It's true, but what relevance does it have right now? Frankie Thomas, with the audience firmly behind him. Bryce is getting the heck he out may, of Dodge. He may literally need the audience behind him, physically <laughs> in the ring, in order to take down the big bear. Once again, we are out here in Braxton, Mississippi with the tournament for the recently vacated heavyweight title. These gentlemen are trying to get their hands on that title, which we have our hands on right now. And Frankie has a handle on the turnbuckle as he gets thrown in by the big bear. A little bit of jaw jacket. Well, all right. Frankie. He can also right to the point. He can also do that a little bit. Yep. We're here at Lights Out 2 with Battlezone Championship Wrestling out in Braxton, Mississippi. This is an, the second of the series of speakeasy type events that Battlezone is hosting. Hard knee to the skull of the bear. Followed up with a big chop to that chest. Tell you what, with this intimate uh, uh intimate show that we're doing here. There's only a, a select few audience members who are able to be here tonight. Man, those yeah. chops were even even louder in this small Echoing venue. off the walls. Frankie going up to the top, trying to chop down that tree. Let's see what happens. Comes down. Oh Beautiful my. Beautiful drop kick right to the skull. It he, sends the beast around. He really landed that, uh, that drop kick in exactly the right spot. High and tight. Headlock to the side. As we said before, you may have seen Frankie recently on AEW going against Lance Archer, no small man himself. Well, Frankie came out with a L on that one. He is no worse for wear. And also comes out with a couple of new strategies to use against somebody the size of Ursa Major. True enough. Slam right onto the tailbone, halfway across the ring. Ducks the clothesline, comes around with the grip. Into the corner, hard hit to the top turnbuckle. And the bear silences Frankie with that huge clothesline. That was a neat little move by Ursa Major. That's the, uh, you know, take, taking it a uh, pretty dangerous move to dive straight for the, uh, the post there with your shoulder, but Absolutely. landed Frankie right off of the turnbuckle. Paid off for him. Frankie's still trying to come back. Drop down to one knee. He's not going to get oh. far trading blows against the big bear. No, he's going to have to uh, drop those wheels out of the bear to get anywhere. Frankie on the ground. And really the can't bear. even afford to be, get himself slowed down. He Ooh. needs to keep his wheels moving. Hard hits to the jaw. Here he goes. Off, scooped up. That was Big not what I meant. Bear hug to 
the lower back of Frankie Thomas. Frankie writhing in pain. Obama checking on him. Seeing if he gives up. I doubt that's going to happen with Frankie Thomas. This is right where having the rest of the crowd jump Ursa Major would really help Frankie out. They're not I allowed to. Don't, they, don't, they don't have a license to wrestle. I don't think it's going to happen, though. No. Especially now that uh, the Renegades of Funk have been removed from ringside. Yeah. Frankie off the ropes. Tries to come back in and gets hit again with that big bear hug. Right in the same spot. Ursa Major just working the gaps between his spinal cord. Yep. Frankie, pain racked across his face. Obama staying on top. It just seems like Ursa can stand there all day. Probably so. Frankie comes off the ropes, spins around. Frankie is able to get off the back, send the bear into the corner, comes in, big whiff. Just enough of a Another gap. Another scoop. Oh, drop it into a tombstone. Oh, oh my gut my. buster from an elevated position. Gorgeous move by Ursa Major. It's like a big ending right there. <laughs> Absolutely, it, it ought to be. <laughs> Going for the cover. Here's one, two, out at two and a half. Frankie's still got some gas in the tank, but for how long? I'm not even sure it's wise to continue <laughs> on Frankie's part. Well, we've seen Frankie wrestle for a couple of years now. We've never known him to quit. Even when he really should Even have. when he should. Absolutely right. Bear with that grip again. This time going from the uh, back position. Cut off that wind. Trying to drop Frankie down a couple of pegs. Frankie if he, reaching out. If he goes down any more pegs, he's going to be underneath the ring. And that's nowhere you want to be. Obama checking on him. There we go. Audience getting their win there. Audience putting their two cents in. Hard elbows to the side of the head. Let's hope they save some of those two Frankie cents. Frankie tries to go up. Oh, stand. and it backfires on him. I think I saw his head bounce off that turnbuckle. Bear coming in. Hard charge to the midsection. Ursa Major offering some advice. Once again. I think it's generous of him to offer some advice to his opponent in the middle of a match, even. I know you do, Joe. I know you do. It's awful big of him. Bear coming in. Big Frankie's up and over. Tries what? to pull a sunset. What? Gets it. One. That's beautiful. That is, that is move incredible. From I can't Thomas. imagine how he oh, had the leverage for that. But speaking of leverage, right into Frankie's back one more time. So when he breaks him in half, does he have to pin both halves? I don't, I don't know the, the rule book the on this one. It just has to be shoulders. Yep. That, well, that would be easier. Then you might as well go ahead and break him in half. Break me off a piece of that, Frankie Thomas. The statuesque form of the bear just holding tight, but Frankie's able to get out, dropping a couple of those elbows right across the neck. Bear comes around. Frankie rolls through. Up. Wow. Big power slam into the middle of the ring. Frankie just ragdolled. One, two, three, and wow. that is it. Ursa Major, your winner in the first round against Frankie Thomas. Ursa Major advancing. Ursa Major rising. Hell of a match. And I imagine we'll see plenty more from the Bear later on tonight. This is Battlezone Championship Wrestling. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Battlezone Championship Wrestling to find all of the info you need for upcoming events and BCW news and updates. Now back to the show.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a first round matchup in the Capital City Heavyweight Championship Tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, when the bell rings, the man in charge, Referee Riley. Good to see Referee Riley. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the corner to my left. He weighed in this morning at 235 pounds. He is from Lafayette, Louisiana. And he is one half of the Overboys. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the Game Center, Christian Blaine. Yes, sir. You guys are in for a treat tonight. I promise you that much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man in the corner to my right. From Pearl River, Mississippi. He weighed in this morning at 320 pounds. He Big is the man. judge, R.J. Williams. The judge did not come to play. He is judge, jury, and executioner. I didn't know he was judge, Judy, and executioner. I did not say Judy. Judge, jury, and executioner. Jeff. Oh, that's probably better. Yep. No one can be Judge Judy. Not even Judy. <laughs> Bell has rung. Both men circling each other up. Here we come with the lockup. Colored elbow right in. Judge with a little bit of a height advantage. Christian, seeing what he's uh, got against. Christian always comes in with such good, strong energy. He gets the crowd behind him. I yep. don't know how often he ends up with uh, opposite somebody the size of RJW. Probably not often. Not a lot of guys that big. I know, and Christian Blake's not a small guy. No, absolutely so I, not. I just, I, you know, having Coming to back lock in. up with somebody who's the size of RJW. Sends Christian off again. a whole again. different ball game. Yep. Christian looking a little flustered. Taking his time. Yeah, he's just trying to slow things down. <laughs> Riley got in the way there. Got a big paw upside his head. Make way. The judge is coming through. All rise. I, I'm happy sitting right now, Joe. But thank you. I said all rise. All right. Are you all? Uh, I'm some. Locked up again. Jeez Louise. The power of RJ Williams. Coming in, follow through. Christian sidesteps. Judge seeing stars with a hard elbow to the chin. There's another one, sends him back. Big chop to the chest. No, so the strategy Comes in again. Works. Hard elbow to the chin again. Oh. No, tries to send the judge over and he says, no sir. Scoops up, slams Christian around. Good just night. Just tosses him. We haven't seen that before. He just, judge is taking out the trash. Hard kick to the uh, shoulder blade there of Christian Blake. Judge just messing around, taking him on a ring tour. Giving him another hard elbow in the corner. Another one. Coming in, just stretching out that leg right across the throat of Christian Blake. Ref Riley, keeping it kosher. Audience member uh, saying that the judge is a bully. I don't know if he's necessarily a bully, but he's uh, getting the job done right now against Christian. He's certainly not being gentle. Since Christian over. He is not going gentle into that good night. Measuring his prey, keeping Christian prone. This is what you get me? Yeah. I'm already a champion. The judge well. issuing the writ of habeas corpus. Can you even spell habeas corpus, Joe? Oh, Christian fires back right to the breadbasket. M. Solid left. V. No. Yep, didn't think so. Judge rocked, but coming back in. Huge shoulder tackle to Christian Blake. A couple more of those, and Christian Blake will not be able to spell anything and Double might be eating him down. through a tube. Judge goes up, tries to go for that leg drop and misses. Christian going to take advantage. Hard kick to the back of the neck. 
Comes again. Hard knee to the side of the wow. head, and the judge is down. That's a nice spinning knee. Riley with the athletic move to try to get the pinfall, but they're a little bit late. The judge is able to kick out at two. Christian in disbelief. Christian might have had a had something to say about that. Riley was just not in position. Well, listen. But that's how the, the, the game goes. Both men back up in opposite ring. Bad judge, things can happen come here. out. Bad things can happen. Beats a big boot. Brings up. Christian breaks oh, it and gives him a knee to the head for that his trouble. Was a quick strike. Christian up. Flying elbow right to the judge. Sends him down. Judge is a little bit dazed right now. I'm That's not sure. That's the perfect he knows time, Christian. There We're you in go. Braxton, judge. One count. Not enough to keep the judge down. Both men just sucking wind in there. When you get that much meat moving around. Well, judges let his hair down. Christian gets a hold of that mane. Pushed off. Hard elbow. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a little tete a tete here. The judge asking for more and getting it from Christian Blake. Oh, <laughs> solid headbutt to the sternum. Oh my. Wow. You don't see that coming. You're waiting for a fist. You're waiting for a forearm. And then that noggin just right. belts you in the chest. Two count from Ref Riley. And the judges back up. Thinking to himself, what have I got to do to keep Christian Blake down? Audience rallying. I think both competitors are sucking wind right now. This has gone on for quite a while. This is a tough match. Absolutely it is. Here comes the judge. Big whiff. Here comes Christian the judge. off. Comes through. Beautiful cutter. Christian Blake hauling for it. He needs that crowd behind him. Christian drops, drops the knee, the knee brace. Uh-oh. Judge is holding him. Oh! <laughs> Modified power slam. One, two. Christian Blake still out. <laughs> oh, my. Kicks out at two still. Joe, lesser men like you and I would not be getting back up from that one. But I'm not Christian, getting up from it, just watching it. Christian. I need to lay through. down. Oh, no. Can we put this microphone down on the ground for Judge me? Judge is going up to down. the second rope. Uh-oh, here it comes. Here comes that axe handle. If Christian can get out of the way, we'll see. Nope. Nope. Oh, my. Oh. Christian's able to get in there. Power knee right to the bridge of the nose of the judge. Christian coming up. Gets hold of him. Schoolboy, small package. One, two, three. Nice. And that is it. Christian Blake is your winner here. Well done. Blake bails out of the ring. He knows that he just escaped the judgment of R.J. Williams.